Hey there, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. We got another look at my single player quake map here, the longest shortcut. I've done quite a bit of work since last time you've seen this, so I'm actually really excited to kind of show you what we've been doing here. So um, the player is set up on this giant kind of set of arches here with this big foreboding door. There's gonna be some crazy lighting to make it look really cool. And you walk toward the door and there's nothing you need to do. You need the gold key. There's no way you're gonna get in. So I guess the only, only, only other option for us right now is to come down this way. And you're gonna get a few of the entire map. Uh, and I purposely left some of the, I kept textures on some things because I wanna build some of the architecture around it, particularly the roofs so you can see in and take a look at everything without being able to like shoot it or, you know, like alter it. Uh, but I might even slow this down because I want the player to really soak it in. So you get down here, and you see the golden key, the thing that we need. But we see some dogs guarding it. Uh-oh. So let's take these guys out real quick. All right, all done. And uh-oh. Our ride is already on its way up. So looks like we're unfortunately going to have to make our way back up by foot. And that's the entire draw of the level. Uh, you start at the very beginning. You lose... Uh, you lose your ride back up and you have to walk all the way to the top on foot. So come over here. Got some encounters. We got the ogre here. I like fighting the ogre. I used to once I feel like the more and more I, I do stuff with Quake, the more and more I figure it out. I used to not like half of these enemies, but now that now I know what I'm doing, I like it a lot more. Over here you can see the little mini boss, so to speak. This little shambler over here. Uh, I'm gonna have a wall texture next to him similar to that instead of the guardrail. So you can look at him, but you can't shoot at him. So over here, we have the nail gun just chilling on an operating table. You go up and get it, and then... Brrr, whoa! Oh, it looks like I accidentally hit the other button. Oops, but uh, yeah. Um, so you get some nails for your nail gun. You get to go to town some more enemies. Come on in here. Got these beds that are knocked over. They can use as cover. Here we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, very nice. So then over here, another set of nails, some more cover for you. And then you hear something from behind you. Uh-oh, dog! All right, took care of him. A uh, little monster closet there for you. And then uh, if you do go inside, I'm going to hide this a little bit more, but there is a, this little secret area, a little, little uh, thing of armor for you. And uh, this door's locked, unfortunately. Can't really get in there. So we got to go this way. And uh, this is where we fight. Whoa! Another encounter with the ogre. Got some cover on either side, kind of separating each encounter. And oh my gosh, we got the demon tearing apart these zombies. I love actually. I actually do like fighting the demon a lot, uh, just because he's the. Per I think he's the perfect amount of challenge because Quake is so fast and he's so well telegraphed. You can get out of the way just in time, and especially with the headshots. Headshots are great against him. Anyway, uh, come down here. Some little goodies for you on either side. Hit this button, and you hear a door open nearby, which can only mean one thing. Ba -ba -da -ba. Aha, a little shambler friend. Let's go to town. So you start over here and whoa! Aha. I'm so, I used to, I'm so bad at the at at using the using these to dodge the lightning, but I'm starting to get okay at it, it looks like. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's been this is this is going a lot better than last time. I was getting hit with lightning every other attack. So you come over this way and um you get the grenade launcher. Which is very, very nice. You come on over here, and you see the door up there is locked, but uh oh. Take care of them. That's just very satisfying to do. Hit that button, and the door opens. Now, over here, right, we have the next little puzzle, right? So, you see this little area right here. You see the button over there, and this is actually where I got stuck last time. I was trying to figure out how, how to implement this, uh, but the people from the Tench, uh, Trench Room Discord were more than happy to help. It was very kind of them to help me uh, get this figured out. So, yeah, you can't come through, no matter what you do. So, you come over this way, and... Oh, no! Got some dog, got some ogres. Whoa! There we go. All right, there we are. So, you may have noticed, the dog was here, the ogre was here. There's four buttons, there's four stakes. One, two, three, and four. If you hit the buttons where they were, it's kind of as a little hint, the stakes move. You, you can tell by looking at it, but that's a little, little hint for you. You can kind of see stuff over here, the next little area, and then we take a nice little elevator ride. Not nearly as long as the first one, but you know it's a nice little little, little moment of rest after coming off a bit of a bit of an action pack segment over here. Then ah, got this guy. Take care of him. Got some some nails, and we come over this way, and we see the door open. That's the elevator. We're back. We're finally gonna. Oh, yep. Just before you can get to the end, or rather, just before you could uh, even fathom getting to the end, 
uh, you're dropped into this little vat of water with no way up. Yeah, there it is. Like, you can see where, where it ends, but there's no way for you to get up. So, uh, you come over this way. Here's another secret area. It's, I might, I might make the doorway a little smaller, because it is a little obvious, but eh. We'll, we'll see. But, uh, there's no way to get up. There, you, you can, there's a lip here. No, but there's no way for you to get out. You can stand up, but there's, you're, you're like, trapped in here. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, unfortunately. Unless, if you go down... You can just hear the, the sound of a teleporter. And you might notice if you go down. Yup, there we are. So the the very the very bottom is a little uh little teleporter for you. And then we have the final puzzle. Um this is gonna look a lot cooler in game. There's actually a texture for it. Uh but it's gonna say you're gonna see this all over the place, but particularly here, you're gonna see a lot here. It's gonna say, have you seen Lane? And then you have a lot of these buttons all lined up. Now to open the door, the door here. You need to press the right buttons, or else these cages will open and monsters will drop down. So, for example, if I hit O, this cage opens up. Uh oh. I don't, I don't want to use my I don't want to use my uh, what's it called just yet. Let's see, use my nail gun. Whoa! All right, took care of him. Uh oh, I hit F in the process. Ah, you gotta be careful when you're fighting these guys. That's why I like to kind of like kite them around. It really helps with the tra trigger discipline too, which is nice. Uh, so come down this way. Uh, but if you hit L, there's three more to go. Uh, so the answer is lane. You got to hit the letters for lane. So L, A, I, and N. And the sequence is complete. And you head on up. So over here, over here. Once again, more unfinished geometry just because I want to do some of this do some of that rest of the geometry with the textures to make it look nice because it's so uh i want i really want you to be able to see just about everything i see you come over this way door opens last door opens and you're back but uh-oh we got a friend oh our little shambler buddy gonna put the stop to us one last time before we end the level I like, you can kite him in between the rooms if you like. That's, that's my favorite way to take care of him. Just kind of kite him in between whenever he tries to do something, hide in the corner, come back out. And then over here, we're back at the door. We have the key now. You can go in. And this part is another one that's going to look a lot cooler with the textures. Uh, so each, so there's going to be these TV screens all over that are off initially. And as you take it more and more, you, you walk farther and farther in, you can see the red sky. And then you'll see the TVs kind of turn on. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a little bit of movie magic just to have like a like a brush in front of them and then like a black brush and then like move it back and then you're gonna see the the have you seen lane texture just all over over like over a bunch of these TVs lining absolutely lining the walls and it's a little freaky uh, and then you finally reach the end of the level and then uh, you you're gonna be able to exit and that's what we have so far I've actually put in a lot of work and even this is probably like the seventh time I'm re-recording this. There were a lot of issues that I found that would come up for some reason. The uh, set of nails before the um, before you f you fall through the trapdoor would trigger literally everything else in the level. I don't know why, but um, that's just how that worked. Uh, but yeah, I'm very close to being done. I just have to slap the textures on. I found some great textures that'll look perfect. I just got to throw them on. They'll look fantastic. Um, and touch it up and the final project will be complete thank you so much for watching and checking out my funny little level here